Hi, good morning. I got up really early this morning and went for a walk before the heat starts to kick in. It's, the heat is phenomenal. Uh, our sun simulator is, well, what can I say? It's not working well. Um, so I'm trying to get my walks in early in the morning. And um, so I figured I'd go ahead and do a video. Um, I was talking about um, the rainbow, the double rainbow that we've been seeing. And yes, it's got to do with uh, chem trailing, uh, making it more visible, uh, the heavy metals in the sky. But this is what I found out. So I went to remote view this, and I'm like, what's causing this severe, crazy looking double rainbow? I've never seen this in my life. It's only been recently in the last couple of years I've even witnessed craziness going on in the sky. And so this is what I saw. You know, we're in a toroidal field that's over us because we're a small part on a bigger earth and it looks like even over the bigger earth is a toroidal field but it looks like there's also a, another toroidal field over that it's like if you were going to drag something and you wanted to make sure that it didn't get disturbed on the inside because maybe the outside shell because we're in seawater it's a salted water our entire what would you want to call it? I guess it's an egg, like an egg shape with land inside. And if you wanted to tow it somewhere, move it, do something, you're going to double shield the existence so it doesn't collapse underneath the pressure of the movement. It's like moving something through water at a high speed. So that's what I'm kind of seeing. It's like they have double shielded us and they're moving us out someplace. And we've been moving out since these double rainbows have appeared. And I'm going to say it's been a couple of years. Now, the question is, where are we going? Why are we going? What's going on? So I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm seeing that we're on a destination. You might as well say that our reality in this, because you know we're in a simulation. Everything is being simulated to what it was in a reality at one point. It's mimicking that simulation. So we are going down the path that's already been taken. It's crazy. It's mind-boggling. But um, I'm going to say this entire egg, I don't know what else to call it, and we're just a small part of the bigger earth on the, in the egg. Um, it's matrix. Of course it is. It's mechanical. Call it a ship if you like. It's like we're in an eco ship. And the reason everything looks so like a like a computer board is because this is a ship we're in a ship of sorts and we're being taken from point a to point b um we were taken from a location that we were in at one point and then moved to where we are now which was a very negative place and we're being rescued you might as well say we've been kidnapped because that's the feel I get from it. Like we've been kidnapped and we're being taken back from where we've been kidnapped from. It's crazy. <laughs> it's, boy, you just couldn't make this stuff up. What was that story about the truth is stranger than fiction? Yeah, I keep thinking about that. Who in the world is ever going to believe this stuff? I mean, we're in a ship. Our reality is in a ship, in the shape of an egg, with land inside, in the middle of it. Well, not quite the middle, but close enough. So that's the reason for the double rainbows. It's a reflection that's being brought out by the chemtrails because it's a reflective surface, these, these heavy metals, and you're actually seeing the double toroidal field. And that's why we never had it before, because it wasn't there before. It was created to protect us for the move that we're on so now I'm starting to believe that whatever reality we were in at one point the negative reality the reason that our vibration is going up is because we're being taken out of that reality into the higher vibrations and that's why some of these really negative beings simply can't go because where we're going they cannot exist their vibration doesn't match they cannot exist Interesting. So I'll just walk along here. I've got people coming. <laughs> oh boy.
Hello. Hi. So, well, we're on a journey, folks. Wonder where we're going to go. I see a place in a reality where the vibration is much higher, the density is less thick, and the negativity simply cannot go. And we've been on this journey for a while, unbeknownst to all of us. <laughs> Maybe somebody knew it, but of course, that was in the know, and that's most of us, we're not in the know. <laughs> we are just existing day to day. We are so focused down to day to day that we can't see the big picture. Of course not. Well, and I also think that this is done deliberately. If you want the society to function in a relatively smooth as possible, you don't tell anybody what uh, is going on, because everything is banked on a future, a tomorrow. And if anybody thought for one minute, this is all you got, enjoy it. There's no future, there's no tomorrow. You're not guaranteed anything. Would anybody do anything? Would everything come to a screeching halt? Yeah, this is why I'm seeing a lot of it's being done. I also do know that <laughs> there is a tomorrow. Remember, we're eternal beings. This is a simulation we're in. Um, so, please go watch my video three and five. But while we're here, it's real enough. I mean, I feel pain. I feel happiness. I feel everything because where my consciousness is, is what I'm experiencing. And this is a physical reality. So as far as I'm concerned, it's as real as it gets. I have to be here. You have to be here. So, <laughs> okay then, I guess I'm going to... You know, I should make longer videos on this stuff, but I noticed that my watch rate is incredibly low. And it's hard enough to get people to watch <laughs> just a small portion, let alone the entire thing. So, I'm leaves going by. <laughs> this trail is phenomenal. I don't know if you can actually see the trail. <laughs> can you see the trail? There's creeks and... It's the woods, and of course there's bugs and mosquitoes, and and I didn't put on the mosquito repellent this morning, but they haven't been that bad. There's this little bench. They have little benches <laughs> throughout that people have donated in case you get tired of walking. They really maintenance these trails in Delaware, but I digress. <laughs> so, okay then, I guess that'll be the end of my video, and that's what the bugs... <laughs> That's what the toroidal double uh, rainbows are. They're, you're seeing the two toroidal fields. And um, it's just a reflection of what's above us. So we'll see what's going to happen. All right. Everybody have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>